In this video, I'll demonstrate the basics of creating a mind map using templates for radial maps, right maps, tree maps, org charts, and timelines. This will include using edit mode to add text, adding topics, subtopics, and floating topics, structuring with drag and drop, and inserting boundaries, relationships, and callouts. Flowcharts and concept maps have different functionalities and are demonstrated in a separate video titled Creating a Flowchart or Concept Map. Each map starts with a central topic. In this example, I'll be using a radial map template. A blue outline around a topic indicates that it's selected. This means that the topic is in edit mode. You can now type in your text. When you're done, press enter. There are a number of ways to insert main topics into a map. Here I'll demonstrate the four most common methods. Ensure your central topic is selected. Use the quick add button to insert a main topic. Now enter the text for your new topic. Alternatively, you can use the top ribbon to add a main topic. Click the insert tab, then click topic. Or, right-click on the central topic to open the context menu, hover over Insert, then click Topic. Finally, you can simply select the central topic and press Enter on the keyboard. You can add subtopics using the same methods I just outlined for main topics. Use the arrow keys to navigate through your map and add subtopics where needed. The keyboard shortcut for adding subtopics is Control plus Enter. Mind Manager also allows you to capture information in an unstructured way by inserting floating topics anywhere in your map. You can insert a floating topic by double clicking anywhere on the map. Or you can right click on the canvas, click Insert, Floating Topics, and drop the floating topic into the map. You can also click the Topics drop down arrow in the Insert tab, select Floating Topics, and drop it into your map. Add subtopics to your floating topic to build out secondary maps within your canvas. You can restructure your map by clicking on any topic or subtopic and dragging it to another location on the map. Choose a topic, left click and hold. Drag the topic to your desired location. The red outline illustrates where the topic will be dropped into the map. You can drop a topic above, below, or beside any other topic or subtopic. If you drag and drop a topic that has its own subtopics, those subtopics will also be moved. Additionally, if you hold control and drag and drop a topic, that tree will be copied into a new location. Move topics and subtopics up or down in the map hierarchy to change the structure of your map. Automatically balance your map by clicking the Design tab in the top ribbon and clicking Balance Map. You can further organize and sectionalize your data in your map by using boundaries, relationships, and callouts. Boundaries allow you to visually group topics and subtopics together to create clusters of information. Select all of the topics and subtopics you'd like to cluster together. In the Insert tab on the ribbon, click Boundary. Boundaries can also be added through the Insert field in the Context menu. You can select a variety of shapes by clicking the Boundary drop-down button and selecting your desired boundary type. Relationships allow you to make connections between two or more topics using a visual cue. Select two topics that have a relationship. In the Insert tab on the ribbon, click Relationship. Or press Ctrl-Shift-R on your keyboard. This creates a relationship between the two topics. Click on the new relationship, Double-click the Label tag and rename the relationship. Change the shape of the relationship by right-clicking and hovering over Relationship Shape. 
Choose the shape that fits your map format. Callouts can be used to provide additional information or instructions for specific topics, relationships, or boundary lines. Select a topic, relationship, or boundary line. On the Insert tab in the ribbon, click Callout. Or, press Ctrl-Shift-Enter on your keyboard. Rename, drag, and drop your callout to your desired location. Watch Formatting a Map to learn how to add images, shapes, and colors, as well as how to change default format layouts.